Hello everybody, Gannon here. Uh, we're doing another little discussion video on the couch. Last time we did this, we did the Stampede movie review. Mahmood was supposed to be there, he had to go after the movie. So he's joining us today, we're doing a little discussion. Two of us know the discussion topic. Mahmood does not. So we have two people here who are ready to get the conversation going, and then we have somebody ready to join in. Maybe, you know, make things a little bit more interesting. Today's discussion topic, Mahmood, are you ready? Yeah. First, take Luffy, right? Okay. Um, right now in the story, take away his devil fruit. So he has all abilities right now in the current canon story, except for the Gomu Gomenomi, and then just give him the Bloom Bloom fruit, Nico Robin's fruit. Oh, shit. Is he, like, Pirate King level? <laughs> Damn. I don't know. That's kind of hard. Because you need to think about like something like Luffy right now has superhuman strength. He always has. Would Luffy be good without his devil fruit? Because his devil fruit gives him so much maneuverability, but he doesn't need his devil fruit to, I don't know, be, use Soru, right? He'd be completely different though. Yeah. Because his, his move sets. he no gears anymore. And he he, wouldn't he, he be like as resilient without like, I feel like him being rubber. Just think about his proficiency in hockey, though. So he's like basically, you know, very proficient in all three trees of base form hockey. I'd say he's a master at all three base forms of hockey. And now he's starting to get into advanced hockey types. So right now, he does have that very, very powerful, like, advanced hockey yeah. type that he's doing right now in Wano. Yeah. So, like, that, keeping that in mind, this dude could see into the future a little bit. Basically, he's pretty good at using it at this point. Oh, Don is joining. I guess Don is joining us, but um, he's pretty proficient at seeing into the future. It seems like he could do it like it's a fucking cakewalk. Yeah. We saw it at the prison. It seems like he's pretty comfortable with it. So that's in his arsenal, and it seems like he's got this new hockey type down if we're ready to go into the war, right? Yeah. So we know he has that capability. So just with that fact alone, right, and then also Luffy's superhuman strength, just Think of what Nico Robin is able to do right now in the story. Oh yeah, she's like cracking people's spines. But she not can, just that. She but can she, sprout giant limbs. Well, she can oh, yeah, yeah. sprout giant limbs. And she can duplicate That's herself. That's kind of like Gears there too. Yeah, but think about Luffy and think about his vitality and just think about because it seems like a lot of these fruits are endurance based. Mm -hmm. So she could sprout like a bunch of hands and use them as wings, but it obviously takes a lot of energy. Yeah. Law can you know use his very overpowered devil fruit. Oh, you're but, saying because Luffy has a lot of endurance. Yeah, I'm saying that maybe because Luffy has so much endurance that he might even theoretically be able to sprout like six arms and just coat them in advanced hockey and then just beat the fuck dude, out like of them. Like an actual Gatlin with like six arms? Yeah, dude, but saying. like, dude, yeah. like that would beat Kaido's ass, would it not? Bro, I don't know. Dude, no, I'm just saying like theoretically, like let's say you had six yeah. giant fucking arms coated in black hockey and then they were using that advanced hockey yeah. push. Oh, like technique. Sad. Yeah, that knocked I him think, on his ass I think sure. that would definitely beat Kaido's ass unless Kaido's even more of a fucking freak than I thought. Yeah. Like, sure. I just think that to be Pirate King level, you have to be definitively stronger than an Emperor, in oh, my yeah, opinion. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. So but the thing is, we still need to see, like, we haven't seen what Kaido can do yet. He's just been drunk. Okay, well, let's That's not true. use Kaido as the benchmark, then. Just think about, um, Big Mom. That's true. Do you think... She has be, really good armor, like, too. Yeah, she would, and she's like, but do you think that, you know, she has the iron balloon going on for her? But do you think that if, like, now that Luffy has this technique where he can penetrate, like, something from the inside and just basically fuck it up? Oh, man. Yeah. Do we have any term for this right now to use? Like, like but his new hockey? Just advanced I don't, armament? Yeah, just advanced armament, really. Yeah. We, I'm sure there's a term for it. We're going to learn it later. But we don't really have a term for it. But I think that would be able to fuck Big Mom up. I'm not convinced about Kaido. I know it would be able to fuck up, um... You know, Blackbeard for sure. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I think Blackbeard... Oh, he would is, take so much damage. I mean, yeah, Blackbeard is the odd one out. Uh, there's a lot of people who I think aren't Yonko level. Not a lot, but there are a few people I think that are Yonko level that could still be Blackbeard. Yeah. Like, in a 1v1 for sure. Mm -hmm. Shanks obviously doesn't count, because Shanks is, like, probably Pirate King level himself. Yeah. <laughs> so, that dude, I mean, we can't even put him on Emperor scale. Uh, 
just my opinion, I think Shanks probably like definitely by the end of series, top three strongest characters, top two strongest characters in the That's series. Do you think it's gonna be Luffy that takes out Kaido by himself at the end, or is it gonna be like? Oh no, like I a think dude. Effort? I think um, if you've been watching my recent videos, I know that uh, I'm pretty convinced that uh, Luffy's commanders like Jinbei, Sanji, and Zora are going to fight King, Queen, and Jack. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm pretty convinced of that. Uh, I think it will be pretty much Law, Kid, and Luffy versus Kaido. Yeah, yeah. With that would be assistance badass. from, uh, with small assistance from other sources, of course, but nothing too overpowered. Like, to, um, maybe Bartolomeo and the Grand Fleet will show up and this will truly be the biggest fucking war ever, like, Oda has promised us. Um, Is that gonna be now? And yeah. You can't also forget about, like, you know, Kinemon and all of them, like, all the... The, the scabbers. The scabbers. I thought yeah, the really big war is gonna be, like, after they get the One Piece. This yeah, but no, 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 I could, no, I'll address this, because the, f the big final war, like, the end war is gonna be the biggest war in One okay, Piece yeah, ever, yeah. but... Uh, Oda has stated oh, you're right, you're right, you're that right. this the Wano yeah. War is going to make the Marine Four War look childish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think the Grand Fleet might show up, or the Grand Fleet will definitely show up in the final war. You oh, know what I mean? Sure. One or the other, yeah. Anyways, so what do you think, Troy? You haven't really spoken much. Do you think? I I don't know. Like, well, yeah. Again, we can't really use Kaido as a benchmark, but like against Big Mom, I think that there's definitely like a whole different fight there. I, I honestly think, like, I'm confident enough to say that I can use Kaido as a benchmark, and think I think so? that this would be able uh, enough you to defeat Kaido. Yeah. I think, I think theoretically, in this in this um, perfectly ideal situation, because the bloom bloom fruit that it was the Hana Hana no me mm -hmm. or the flower flower fruit maybe I Whatever think in like Viz. Anyways, it seems that she's literally able to sprout any part of her body anywhere. Yeah. So she could literally like. Basically, TP. If she wanted to, she could just sprout another version of herself in a separate room, like she did in Wano with the ninjas. She can teleport. And she didn't dress Rosa, too. She can, and then the only um, obvious weakness of this fruit is that, like, if somebody were to stab, like, one of the existing arms, oh, like, that damage yeah. does come back to Robin, and yeah. she feels it. Um, but that wouldn't be a problem for Luffy because he's an extremely proficient armament hockey user, he can easily coat any of those arms in hockey. Yeah. I think that that is what I like at least expect this to do. He's able to coat as many arms as he wants to in black hockey. Yeah, dude. I'm just imagining like 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 Luffy versus Kaido, just him sprouting just six just massive arms and like Kaido like on dude, Kaido and just fucking him you up. Know how, you know how um, uh, Katakuri kind of does like the game controller thing where he like sprouts like the the floating mochi yeah. like uh when he's doing the what are, what are those called block mochi i think is what yeah, you call that move but he can just kind of like you know punch forward and then they follow him yeah i think that's what luffy is gonna do he's just gonna sprout like six fucking arms like he's like you know four arms for ben 10 <laughs> except with six and then just fucking like boom boom give him the upper combo dude yes i know i know kaido is a dragon who's impenetrable and has the destructive power to just blast clear a mountain effortlessly for sure we've basically Easy. already seen him do it mm -hmm. like but then there's luffy with just these giant arms that he could probably make like i know kaido's pretty big but the arms that robin makes are huge yeah they're great for AOE attacks. And knowing Luffy, he could probably make them even bigger. And he, and, Lu, and dude, and just Luffy as just a fighter too. Mm -hmm. His fighting experience he still has, he still has the hawk and he still has the superhuman strength and that's all translated over into those arms. Yeah. So when, when Nico Robin sprouts those arms, I don't think those arms are like the exact strength of her regular arms, each and every one. Mm -hmm. So it's fucking insane. Yeah, duplicating himself and then doing that? Oh. Yeah, I, I think like Luffy would be the Pirate King by now if he had that shit. Like that would be a much... I, I think it would more... definitely be a much rapid story yeah, if uh, he had that Yeah, through. of course. Now, any final thoughts right there on that topic before we go into the subtopic? Huh? What's the subtopic? Are we in, are we in a agreement then that Luffy is probably Pirate King level if he has the hand of hand enemy right now in the story? Yeah, I mean, if he's really closer, yeah. And not to mention, not to, to, to mention me. in that, and not to mention, I, like in that ideal situation, too, Luffy would be able to use the advanced armament, mm -hmm. and Luffy also has future sight, 
Yeah. So he and he probably, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it like out here. I know Luffy's use of gear second is what allows him to kind of use shave. Yeah. But I feel like if Luffy really just kind of wanted to learn shave, he could, he could probably oh, sure. he could Cody, probably learn Cody, it in about Cody. ten minutes. Yeah. In about ten minutes. Knowing his training. If somebody arcs. if somebody sat down like, hey Luffy, this is how you do the shave technique. He'd be like, oh, okay, sick. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I know, I know Luffy uses gear second because it just makes him all around faster and everything. It's just an overall boost to his kit. But I feel like Luffy probably could use the blur and shave too in about ten minutes. So in this ideal scenario that I have, Luffy probably has shave. You know, future sight. I think that's totally reasonable. Mm -hmm. He has future sight. He can, he, dude. Even if he can just sprout like two or four of those arms, that's still fucking. So crazy. Yeah, no, it's insane. It's super insane. What's the subtopic? The subtopic now is think about this. Luffy has the gum gum for and the Hannah Hannah. Okay, yes, that's what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> because Dude. we can just have fun with this and talk about how fucking dangerously overpowered. overpowered this would be. Dude, he'd be sprouting giant arms that can just stretch everywhere. He can reach Dude, your fours? <laughs> yeah, two snake men. Dude, or snake men and a tank four, man. Uh, Dude, four. No, like, dude, two. Um, two Kong King organs. Oh my god. Two King Kong. Dude. Yeah, two Black Mamas. Dude, because Nico Robin is able to actually use her clone in combat in um, Fishman Island. It, she cracked the back of that one kind of upper level henchman. Mm -hmm. Remember? So theoretically, Luffy could spawn just another Luffy and, that's... and just do a bunch of fucking combos like a shadow clone. Yeah, I was gonna say that, yeah. Dude, it's. And then just think about being able to not only create giant limbs, but then puffing air into those giant limbs to make them bigger than coating them in hockey. This is way more fucking OP than Douglas Bullet in Stampede. Stampede. Yeah. And I thought Douglas Bullet was like, wow, that combo is insane. I thought that if Douglas Bullet was actually a canon character and he was in the canon, he could rock all the other Yonko shit and like, he would be a problem if he actually existed. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? For sure, for sure. But like, Hannah Hannah no me, Luffy right now in the current story, he would easily be the strongest character in the series hey, yo, of all time. That'd be fun to see. Yeah. It really would be. That's insane. I'm just thinking like the all the coming it dude, he could like he could literally have a gear fourth of each of them out at the dude, same time probably. Just like think of this dude. Think of this dude and you're in an enclosed space with this dude, like an underground just space, right? Yeah. Like you're in just it's just a block. And you're on the floor, right there, you're just standing, and there's Luffy, and you're a pirate, and you're tough as nails, and you're ready to go fight Luffy. And then this dude pops gear forth, um, and then he basically makes a hundred pythons come at you from the side of the wall, just straight into your face. And then they just keep up, boop, 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 boop. And that's probably what's, what um, his awakening's gonna be. The bounce house theory. Oh yeah. That's what I think it's gonna be. You can turn everything rubber and like and then, able to control everything like that. Yeah. Obviously. That's that's. I'm, I'm, I'm going I, to I, make a totally separate video on the bounce house theory because that's what I subscribe to. Like what the gear. Yeah, yeah. It seems like awakenings are consistent um, among paramecias. Like the paramecia types are kind of all the same, but I don't know how they could be. How how that could fucking work? Yeah. Because like some paramecia types literally are, you know, the ability to turn rocks into pajamas. Oh yeah, no, I think. <laughs> no, no. no, like I think some those fruits definitely can't awaken. Yeah, no. You want to know why I think it is the case is because I think um, for paramecia fruits, and I think I said this a couple videos ago, but I didn't really, you know, state this. Um, just paramecia fruits, I think you have to have conquerors hockey to awaken, because all the conquerors hockey users that we've seen so far are awakened. Um, except for Gil to Zora from Film Gold, but fuck Film Gold, it's not canon at all. I'm not gonna go up to all non canon but like, but like, what? I don't understand how that has to do with the Awakening, you know? Like, cocky. Oh, well, I just think that it's a defense mechanism from a st uh, story writing standpoint. Like, it only the badasses in the universe who have these fruits that, like, could actually work with the Awakening like it's meant to can actually awaken it, right? And they all have conquerors. Yeah, so I think that. it's like stipulation that if you like have conquerors hockey and you somehow master it to a degree, that you'll be able to awaken your paramecia fruit. 
Um, the zone users, it's my theory that they have to abandon um, basically their previous personality and go into a full beast mode. Um, yeah, I can, I can go down. Uh, so basically, you know, uh, embracing the beast, so to speak, because I said the Paramecia Conquerors thing in my last video and somebody's like, but what about the jailers? Sorry. Your comment wasn't annoying. So then, I don't know. I said it so like you that, but you think like the zones can't go back to their normal forms? Um, because I think like, it's difficult for them because you know choppers beast mode is clearly like an awakened zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At I this point, like there's so much. Chopper. Oh, I think the only reason chopper is able to. Serve, already animal? Yeah, no. The only reason if chopper is able to go to the monster point and have consciousness is solely because of the rumble balls. It's because he actually has an advanced technology that allows him to um, control his transformations better. And it's even allowed him to get new transformations. Like Kung Fu Point? Like, he's got, like, more transformations than a regular zone user. So, oh, yeah. Chopper is clearly the odd one out just because he has the Rumble Balls. Yeah. And so, if you think about it that way, then that theory is consistent. I don't really have a lot of faith in, that, in those theories. Like, I don't... I'm like, but I think that that's like the only consistent thing that I can come up with. Like, why isn't the guy who is able to turn his body into like fairies, or or the spin spin fruit, or you know the one fucker? What's a dumbass devil fruit in the series? Like a paradisia. Yeah. Why isn't the fucker that's able to? Uh, what was it, like Mr. Five? The explosion. One? No, that one was really good. I'm not saying it's dumbass, but like, how would you awaken that? Oh yeah, how would you? Like a lot of these can't really like, make sense. You can't have everything just turn into. Well, an that's not saying like, not, not every dofer can be awakened, but the thing is like we don't know how long the new person had it too. Yeah, but here's the thing. Because we know we definitely had dofer since he was a kid. Yeah, but so have a yeah, lot of so have so a lot of other devil free users like that. There are so many devil free users in the story. I bet a fucking lot of them have had their devil free since they were children. I like how long is Fujitora? Another had? thing like. Dude, how the fuck does somebody get Conqueror's Hockey? It's literally fate. Like, you're actually destined to get that. Yeah, you're like a... So if you're thing. destined to get that, it's why is it such a crazy idea that you're also destined to get a certain fruit? And that you're you're supposed to have both. If you have a Paramecia type, you need Conqueror's to awaken it. I think. But you can't be I'm destined, you can't be destined to have both, though. What about Shanks? Well, I, I mean, some... Uh, there's a lot of people who don't also, have... Yeah, also Shanks just doesn't get anything Like, else. they're just badasses. Like, you know, Conqueror's Hockey's given to badasses. True. That's li like, and if you're, and the, and the guy with the fucking berry berry fruit, or the pajama stone fruit, sorry, Kinemon fans, but they're never gonna be badasses. Hey, what about Hancock? He has Conqueror's, but I don't know if he's awakened. Well, oh, I, I, I'd say she has, because she has Perfume Femur, and that is similar to an awakened ability. It seems that with Perfume Femur, She's able to, it doesn't matter, she's able to just turn anything she touches directly into stone. Mm. So that would be maybe my explanation to, if she had like an ability like that, like she has kind of awakened, you know, types of ability. Like she, she's seemingly able to turn anything she touches into stone when she does per perfume femur. And then she has a separate move set where it's like if you look into them and you, you know, it's built on yeah, yeah. the lust. Mm. But anyways, yeah. Luffy with the fucking Hannah Hannah and him, it would be insane. Oh, okay, so. I'd, I'd love, love to I'd see love it. That too. That'd be so cool. Anyways, guys, I think that was a good discussion. Yeah. We're definitely gonna do some more of these for sure. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Please let us know what you think about our opinions. And with that, guys, I'm gonna have to see you in the next one.